In this Blender video, I'm going to show you how to model faster and easier using a simple yet effective technique that involves using the Quick Favorites menu. It's a menu where you get to add what's there. Here's what it looks like in action. One of the operations that I frequently perform in Blender is to add a subdivision surface modifier. Normally I would go through a couple of menus to get to it, but with the Quick Favorites menu, I can just press Q and select it from here. Now from the Modifier Properties tab, I can just set the number of levels. Another thing that I like to have in the Quick Favorites menu is the Shadow Catcher. This is not a function that I use frequently, and because of that, sometimes I forget where it's at. By putting it in the Quick Favorites menu, I have it when I need it without needing to search for it elsewhere. The items in the Quick Favorites menu will be different depending upon whether you're in Object Mode or Edit Mode. I'll show you this. Here we have a cube, and I'll add a Subdivision Surface Modifier to it. Now I'll tab into Edit Mode, and if I press the Q button, the Subdivision Surface Modifier and the Shadow Catcher are not here. Instead, we have different functions. So let's say that I want to duplicate this cube and slide the duplicate over to the edge of the first one. Something that I added to the Quick Favorites menu is the Merge by Distance function. So here I have four duplicate sets of vertices that I can merge together using this function that I have in the Quick Favorites menu. It's easy to add items to the Quick Favorites menu. All you do is go to a function that you want to add, right click and select Add to Quick Favorites. To remove an item, press Q, right click the item that you want to remove and select Remove from Quick Favorites. To make sure that all of your changes to the Quick Favorites menu are saved for the next time that you open Blender, go to the Edit menu, select Preferences, and click the Save Preferences button. If you don't see the Save Preferences button, then you probably have Auto Save Preferences selected. To check this, click the three bars and see if Auto Save Preferences is enabled. If it is enabled, then any of the changes that you make to the Quick Favorites menu are automatically saved and you can skip this step. The Quick Favorites menu is a great way to optimize your modeling workflow and improve your efficiency. It lets you access your favorite tools and commands with one click and avoid wasting time on searching for them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.